It's official, we are finally getting a brand new Dragon Ball Super video game. The new video game comes out next year, actually, and it's gonna be a digital version of the already existing Dragon Ball Super card game. Being an elite level Shadow Realm sending duelist on Yu-Gi-Oh, I was hyped. But admittedly, I had no idea how to even play this DBS TCG. But that all changes now. I decided I was gonna learn how to play and be ready for the brand new video game coming out next year. So I picked up my brother Damon, we hit the card shop, and we learned the best way we knew how by watching random YouTube videos. After sitting through a little over an hour's worth of tutorials, playing with starter decks a couple times, we decided to whip up our own decks and put our early skills to the test. Apologies for the subpar audio, this is the first time we used this setup, but going forth, if you guys want to see more, 20,000 likes and it'll have pristine quality. Uh, but just bear with me for this one. After a week of training, after a week of learning, I think we understand how to play this game now. To the point where we're not using starter decks, we actually practiced with starter decks, we tried to record technical difficulties, it failed, but we know how to play the game now, so we decided we were gonna make our own deck. Full disclosure, we have no idea how good or how bad these decks are gonna be. I made myself a Bardock deck with Bardock through, and it looks like Damon went for the old Super Saiyan God, Son Goku. All right, nevertheless, uh, I am gonna make a how to play video coming soon. And once that's up, it'll be linked in the description down below. All right, so we start by drawing six, six, and then we get a little mulligan. So we get to look at our hand and we can decide whether we wanna throw something back in there or keep what we got. And honestly, I'll keep my hand. I'm gonna keep my hand. If you have any cards in your starting hand that you don't want, you can put it back in your deck, shuffle, and then draw the same amount. You know, the game doesn't want you to break. Okay, I'm gonna replace three cards. Oh, and we have to decide who's going first. So in order to decide, we have to see who has the high roll on the dice. I got a three, you got a six, you're first. For those who actually play this game who are wondering why I'm explaining everything, uh, a lot of my audience, at least at the stage that I'm uploading this video, don't play the game, so I want them to understand what's going on. So these are our life points. Once all eight of these cards are gone, whoever loses all eight first loses the game. The way you lose a life is if your leader loses a battle. First is the charge phase. And this is a tough one because I'm not sure if I want to use any of my cards for energy, but I will. And I'm going to use this one. You almost put it right side up. Interesting. Okay, we might have some hybrid tactics going on here. He put down a red energy, but his leader is blue. That's interesting. Yes, this is our third time playing this game. We've forged our own decks for the first time for this. Yeah, charge phase is over. What you got? Charge phase is over. I have nothing to play. Normally I'd like to play card in my battle zone. I have nothing to play. Okay, and my turn. Pass? Cool. I will... Diru! This is my poker face. <laughs> You're so cooked. You're so cooked. Oh my god, this duel's already over. All right, uh, during my charge phase, I will... So right after you draw, you go into charge phase, so you get to decide whether you're going to put one of your cards into your energy. I will go ahead and put... I'll go ahead and set my Shugesh uh, as energy, and then I'll move to my main phase. I cannot play anything, but luckily... I got Bardock's crew, I got my leader already on. All right, so I'm gonna use my leader Bardock's crew. You, bro, Bring my, it on. my son about to get jumped by the whole gang right now. Jumping, jumping. And uh, during my offensive step, I'm not gonna do anything during my offensive step, so during your defensive step, do you do anything? Uh, I, I, I don't do anything. You don't do anything. You take the hit then. All right. So the cool thing about this game is when you take a hit or if you lose a life or whatever, it goes directly into your hand. You can't really get steamrolled as easily in this game because once you take some damage, you're picking up a card, you're getting some card advantage, so that's kind of like the trade-off. All right, uh, I took life from him. He has seven left, I got eight. I'm gonna pass back to you. My turn. Do it all! <laughs> I do that. What I would like to do next is play another energy. <laughs> all right, during your charge phase. There we go. Little Vagidat. Charged up two energy so far. I'm gonna go ahead and play a, a battle card this time. All right. Um, I'm going with... 
It costs two. I had you don't. Have oh, that. you got a red and a blue. It's got to be. Does it have to be two blue or two I red? Not, I do not have the required color of energy Tough. to play this card. That's why it's risky to play multiple colors. But these decks are based off of uh, intuition more so than you were just following your heart. Yes. Uh, your heart will lead you to the grave. <laughs> Okay, I think that what I want to do for my turn then is just go ahead and move to the battle phase. I'm going to use Super Saiyan God Son Goku to attack Bardock's crew of misfits. To attack! Um, during your offensive step, do you do anything? Do you I don't. combo with anything? No? In that case, I'm going to use one energy and combo with the Prince. My grade 8 Prince Vegeta. And because I use one energy, I can go plus 10,000 uh, to protect myself from battle. But that's not all. This card says, when you play or combo with this card, which I did, I can look at the top three cards uh, from my deck and I can choose one great ape and add it into my hand. If I do so, place one card from my hand into my drop. And so I get to look at the top three cards in my deck. And if there's a great ape, I can add it to my hand. There's not. <laughs> All right. So they go back in and they get shuffled. I'm, I'm actually kind of glad because I didn't catch that last part. Because if I did grab one, I'd have to place one card from my hand into the drop. All right, so Vegeta goes into the drop. I'm safe for this battle. Yes. And we'll shuffle this back up. You end your turn? Yes. All right, my turn. <gasps> Dedu. That'll work for me. So during my charge phase, all of my energy, any card that has been shifted to horizontal, aka rest mode, Get shifted back to vertical. So Shugesh is back vertical, and my leader Bardock is back vertical. All right, and then during my charge phase, I will go ahead and place Gone But Not Forgotten as energy. Okay, so now I have two energy into my main phase. I am going, I'm going to shift two of my energies into rest mode to play. <laughs> My Bardock, father and son. Look, beautiful, beautiful. All right. It's a good looking card. All right, so I'm gonna use my Bardock, father and son, shift it to rest mode, and attack your leader, Son Goku. Do you choose to combo? I will not do a combo during offensive steps. So offensive steps always first. I get to decide if I wanna add any more oomph to my attack, and then he gets to reply with the defensive step. I'm not adding anything with my offensive, so go off. I'll go ahead and use my extra card. <laughs> Star Ball. What'd I do? Uh, this act Cost zero! This activates Broken. during a battle. It allows you to choose one of your battle cards or leader cards. Uh, and it gets five plus 5,000 power for the duration of the battle. Uh, so that puts me at 15,000. Which I also have. <laughs> Another one? Okay, so you're at 10,000. Alright, well, plus 10,000, so you're at 20. So in this game, if you, like in Yu-Gi-Oh, if they have the same attack points, they both get destroyed. In this game, the attacking monster, if you have the same battle points or whatever, uh, the attacker wins. That's so right. he had to get above 15,000, which he did. So he's protected from this first onslaught by his daddy. But now his daddy goes off of Super Saiyan with the whole crew. And now my Bardock's crew is going to attack their leader. And I'll take the damage. Okay. All right. And uh, that's going to do it. Okay. All right, so I draw. Uh, charge phase. I have to play this card for my energy. Okay, and that is a yellow. Yes. A yellow, blue, and green energy? I wasn't planning on using it in my energy because, again, in your energy, no effects matter. But I... He's I, desperate. I needed to, to... I'm having to make some compromises. Okay. Uh... Okay, um, I think that what I will do is go ahead and attack with my leader onto your leader. Okay. Do you use anything during your offensive step combo-wise? I do not. I will go ahead and take that hit. And pick up a card. A card okay. I necessarily wanted to see, but I'll take it. I have my turn. All right. Charge phase. I will draw, charging up, and now my stuff goes back into active mode, okay? And during my charge phase, I will go ahead and, all right, I'm gonna play my Tora in my energy. Fair enough. I'm gonna shift three of my energies into All Rise for the 
King! King Vegeta! Royal Pride. Unison cards are cool because once you play them, depending on how much energy you place for them, which I use three, I can give him that marker. So he has three. Again, I'll make a whole video on how to play this game and what stuff means. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But let's just say the more counters on a unison card, the better. So these guys stay alive uh, until their marker reaches zero. So what I can do is I can add a marker to King Vegeta. And I love it. I love it because he's the king and like it makes sense. Then I can look at the top five cards in my deck and I can grab one mono yellow great ape among them and add it to my hand and then shuffle the deck. So I can look at the top five cards in my deck and any great ape I can add into my hand. You gotta be, oh thank god, okay. I did get one great ape so I'll add that into my hand. I'll just, I think I have to reveal it. I don't know for sure but I will. You guys let me know in the comment section. It's actually King Vegeta as a great ape. Then these go back into the deck. Okay, I used all of my energy, so I am going to go ahead. Attack! <laughs> First, I will use my Bardock, father and son, to attack your goat. Yeah, Shit, you're like the rest. Pretty vulnerable here. <laughs> uh, he has 15,000. So you gotta get above 15,000, or you can just take the hit. You know, gain some resources. You're not out until you're all the way out, you know what I mean? Uh, I'll go ahead and take the hit. Ooh, he don't feel good about it. You hear that in his voice? All right, pick one up. And then immediately, right after Bardock punched you in the grill, right behind him comes... Licking! Licking Vegeta, Royal Pride. I take, take the hit. <laughs> All right, he is at foe. He is at foe. And uh, Bardock's crew, also gonna attack. Hey, it's not over until the fat lady sings. <laughs> so, it's not over. I didn't, I didn't hear. Shut up, why are you talking like a robot? I didn't hear any opera. <laughs> I activate my energy card. My energy. extra card. Combo? Four star ball. You have another one? How do you draw three? Zero cost. Who shuffled your deck? <laughs> you three? Zero cost, four star ball. Plus 5,000. Plus 5,000, I survived the attack. Yes you do. Yes sir. Okay. You're always coming through for me, Grandpa. Alright, uh, and then I'll end my turn. Pass it to you. I draw a card. Put this into active mode once again. Also, I'm going to activate his Awaken. Okay. When my life is at four or less, I have four. Okay. Uh, I may draw two cards. Two? Two cards. What is this, Pot of Greed? And flip this card over. Ooh, he blew that. My leader is transformed. Uh, as desperate times call for desperate measures. I think he was supposed to put his charge phase and then flip it over. Uh, uh, we're new to this. Same thing. Use this as a charge card or an energy card. So you're going to use two energy instead? Two energy instead. Okay. So that I can just get something on the field. I'm going to play this basic Son Goku. 20,000 for only two? My Goku to uh, attack your Bardock. This one, the Super Saiyan Bardock. I actually, unfortunately, cannot stop that, which sucks. So goodbye, Bardock. Bardock goes to the drop. The drop is pretty much the graveyard in this game. Now what? Now, I'm going to go ahead and attack with my leader. When this card attacks, I draw one card. That's be nice. And I'll be attacking your leader. Um, I also switch two of my mono blue energy back to active when I attack. Really? So you draw a card and you switch two back to active? Mm -hmm. Two of your mono blue energy to active mode, wow. That's good. Unfortunately, cannot stop that either. So I will take that hit. Sweet. I think that is it. Okay. Deru. Okay. Charge phase. All of my rest mode cards go back into active. I can place energy if I choose to. I do choose to. Great ape, Tora. And now, I'm going to go up a marker to five, so I can look at the top five cards in my deck at one great ape. If I draw one, I did. It's another one of these, just to reveal it. Now, I have four energy. You're gonna regret resting against me, Sonny. Because I shift two of my energies into rest mode to play my final spirit cannon. Nani? I can target one of your battle cards that's in rest mode and KO it. Nani? This can't be true! Shut up, Chad. <laughs> Don't ever call me Chad. <laughs> I'm Ichigo. Uh, let me put a sag by side with Damon and Chad right now. Chad. No. <laughs> Chad. 
Yeah, you're KO'd. That's tough. And that doesn't even count as my battle. It not beautiful. I'll simply just save these two energies and go into battle. Uh, with King Vegeta first. King Vegeta is going to attack your Goku. We are both at 15,000. I will not use any energy. But do you defend yourself in this battle? By paying three energy, I am activating a card's counter ability in my hand, uh, which allows me to negate the attack Speed rush. and play this card in rest mode. Ooh. So you stop the old man. Um, Bardock's crew. Shift it to rest mode. I'm gonna pay one energy and then bring out my absolute defense. Grade eight, King Vegeta. By using one energy, I get plus 10,000. So I'm at 20,000, attacking your 15,000 leader. Do you have any response to my 20,000? I'm gonna use this as a combo to put him at 20,000. Then I'm gonna use this four star ball. Oh my God. To put him at 25,000. That leaves me strong enough to survive the attack. Sure does. This combo card, instead of going into my drop, I'm going to choose to put it into my Z energy. That is all I'm going to do. Your move. I throw. There's no way in hell you win this game. Place your energy and let's get this over with. Don't throw out the baby with the bathwater. <laughs> Charge phase. I'm adding another card to my energy. A red? Okay. Yes, yeah, so and now I'm using three energy. One, two, three. In order to play this unison card, Sun Goten Tournament Competitor with three yeah, markers. Markers. His ability is if this card has three or more markers on it. Which it does. Uh, when this card is played, your opponent places one card from their hand at the bottom of their deck. Alright, um I gotta I gotta send one of these Send one of these fellows away. What an easy choice you're making me, Mike. Put my little monkey bard off on the bottom. All yeah. right. It's, That's it's done. been done. Um, I'm going to attack with uh, Goku onto King Vegeta. King Vegeta. All right, so unison cards do not have a defensive step, so I cannot stop this. It will just automatically go to four. And I'm going to also attack with uh, my unison card. On King Vegeta again? Yes. Only an old man, huh? Now I'm down to three. I'm trying to put this mutt down. <laughs> what are you, Frieza? <laughs> Calling him a mutt? <laughs> okay, my turn. Shift, 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 shift. You'll regret attacking the king. First, during my charge phase, I'm going to set my Bardock Surge of Inspiration into my energy. Shift four of them. Two, three, four. To bring out. The Great Ape, Prince Vegeta. He has critical, meaning if I win a battle with this against your leader, instead of this card going into your hand, your life goes directly to your drop. And he also has blocker, which means uh, if you attack my leader, I can shift your attack to him. Uh, I'm gonna go plus one on my marker, four, so I can look at the top five cards in my deck, add one Great Ape into my hand. None of them were Great Apes. Ooh. So you've got many monkeys in your deck. That's why I wore the shirt. You're in trouble. I'm gonna shift my grade eight Prince Vegeta into battle, or into rest mode, okay. and attack your leader, Son Goku. I'm not gonna combo with anything. I'll take the hit. I'm gonna go straight to your drop. With the critical damage, oh, you love to see. I hope it was a good one. Yeah, get Broly dirty ass out of here. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and shift my King Vegeta into rest, and also attack your Goku. For a flat 15,000, 15,000, 15,000, I win that battle. Um, unless you have a combo. You have activated my extra card. So for zero energy, I'm activating Angel Halo. Get Choose up to, to one of your leaders or battle cards. It gets plus 1,000 power for the battle. Plus 1,000? Yes, that's right. Dang, and that's enough, actually. I was going to say, why would you only do plus 1,000? That is yeah. enough. I guess because it costs zero, it's only plus 1,000. I survived. That card is literally just for, like cards that are like matched up. Yeah. I'll end my turn. Pass it over to you. you. Got three life left. You're barely hanging on by a thread. Soon that angel halo will be really above your head. Hey. <laughs> Editing me, put it put a halo above his head. <laughs> Don't worry. I heard the Shadow Realm's lovely this time of year. Well desperate times call for desperate measures. I'm playing another card into my energy. 
All right. Mm, another unison, a red one this time. This time! I will switch this card. One red. And this card. Two red. And this card. Three red. So that I have three red energy being used in order to play a card that requires three red energy. Okay. <laughs> Plus one more. <laughs> All right. So it needs four energy, but three have to be red, I'm guessing. Yes. Super ah, Saiyan Broly, returning 000. villainous threat. 25,000, pretty good. What all do you do? Right. First of all, when this card is played from your hand, it gains triple strike for the turn. Whoa! Second of all, if your opponent has three or more energy... Active not... or just like energy, period? Energy. Okay. When this card is played, choose all of your opponent's battle cards and they get negative 25,000 power this turn. What the fuck is this? One, two, three. Right. So, uh, Vegeta's at... I don't know if you go down to zero, like in Yu-Gi-Oh, you just go to zero, or if you go into the negatives, I don't think it really matters, but... I guess zero, right? Yeah. So you only have triple strike for this turn, FYI. Mm -hmm. <laughs> triple strike is crazy. In case I didn't make it clear, what triple strike does is if he wins the attack against my leader card, I'll lose three lives triple instead of just the one. So that's why it's actually insane. I'm going to use uh, Sun Goten Tournament Competitor to attack your Great Ape Vegeta. That's a good move. No combos. Force, what the fuck combo would you need? It's comeback season. I truly wish I could do something about that. I'm afraid I cannot. Okay. To the drop. Super Saiyan God, Son Goku's Soul Striker Reborn, my awakened leader, and attack his leader. Go ahead. Uh, anything during your offensive? Nope. I'll take that hit. Next, I think that I will attack with... You're not planning on blocking this, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Triple strike is fucking crazy. Go ahead and attack. You're gonna lead it with Broly. No Anything. combo. No combo? And you were smart to get rid of Vegeta first. Because, yeah. one, because uh, I could have used him to combo for plus 10,000. And two, he has blocker, so I could have diverted Broly's attack to Vegeta. You're right. I... Unfortunately, take it. I have to take that hit. <laughs> All right. Triple strike. Just like that, I am now at a deficit because I have to pick three cards up. But luckily, it's not triple strike critical. All right, that's my turn. <sighs> what a turn it was. Okay, draw charge phase. I'm gonna put my Shugesh into my energy. Then I'm gonna activate my King Vegeta Unison to go plus one on my marker. Turn that. To look at the top five cards of my deck again and grab one great ape. Turn that vegetable king. If I have it, I did not get a great ape somehow. I know I have a bunch of this fucking deck. And now the requirements have been fulfilled. I am sad that you took so much life with that triple strike, but I'm almost happy you didn't attack my unison because now that I can go minus four to one marker. And I can play up to two mono yellow great ape cards with different names and energy costs of four or less from my deck. So, unfortunately, all my great apes are either energy four or five, and it has to be four or less, and they have to have different energy. So, I'll just bring out one four. And I'll bring out my Bardock Will of Iron. I'm gonna shuffle my deck. All right, first, I'm gonna shift one, two, three. Four, five of my energies yeah. into rest to bring out my absolute defense, Great Eight King Vegeta, who also has twenty-five thousand. And I may not have triple strike, but I do have double strike. Our feelings. I have a permanent effect where I can reduce the combo cost of all Saiyan cards in my hand by one. Damn. So any combo that I have, he's the king, he works with all the Saiyans. Any card in my hand that costs one combo will now cost zero, or two will cost one, etc, etc. That's not all, clown. I'm gonna activate my Bardock's Crew, Awaken ability. Now that I have four or less life, I only have two, I can draw one card, and then shift one of my energies into active mode, and add cards from your hand to... Whoa! Wait. And add cards from my hand to my life until I... Wait, no, that can't be real. That's broken. <laughs> oh, wait. So you guys didn't see my face. I was shocked, okay? I was absolutely kerfluffled at the fact that my Awaken, as long as I have less than four life, which I do, I only have two, I can not only draw one card, 
which I already did. Switch one of my energies back to active mode, which I already did. Shugesh is back active. But I can add cards. I don't think it's even a question. I think I have to. And add cards from your hand to your life until you have six left. So I would have to add four. One, two, three, and four. Add these four to my life. Not only that, I get to awaken the crew. I guess the crew died because now it's just Bardock inherited will. So I can use my Bardock crew card from the drop in my combo. You know why that's cool? Because it's canonical. Remember when he was like, looking at it like in Budokai when he's like thinking of all of his uh, dead comrades and they give him like that boost that he needs. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. That's why they did that. Open your eyes. I am going to go ahead and battle. Uh, so first I'm going to use my leader Bardock Inherited Will to attack your Goku and just to apply a little pressure I'm going to use his effect. When this card attacks I can use up to one of my yellow Bardock's crew cards uh, with 5,000 combo power from my drop in a combo with its skills negated. So I can get one of my, there's no way I don't have any of my drop. All right, scratch that. Okay, so Bardock Inherited Will will just attack for a straight up 15,000. Take that hit. And now I win this game because my absolute defense grade A King Vegeta, the King of the Saiyans, has double strike. With 25,000, and attack your Goku and just to add some insult to injury, I'm gonna also throw down my Vegeta, the King's Son, to go plus 5,000, so I'm up to 30,000 father and son duo. Attacking the blue-haired false Saiyan. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Even if you happen to survive this, Bardock also has double strike, David. It's like Madara. You might stop one meteor, but what will you do about the second one, Onoki? This. So you're at 20,000. As a combo. I'm at 30. You don't need to use energy for this one. Zero. And this one too. We're putting at 30. Okay. Still need one more. Alright. You prevented my first attack from going through. Bardock, Will of Iron. Also has double strike. I shift him into rest. And not only that. I'm going to combo with my great... Protector Grade 8 Bardock who has plus 10,000 and I'm not going to use any energy for that. Why? Because my permanent effect, I can reduce the combo cost of all Saiyan cards in my hand by one. This normally costs one, but I don't need it. Plus 10,000, I'm now at 30,000. Can you stop another meteor, Anoki? No. <laughs> and that will end our first duel against each other. To be fair though, this is the first time we used like our own custom made decks. I Damn like it! <laughs> I had more resources in terms of like, let's face it, a little better organized. It was kind of all over the place with the colors, so we're gonna get you with the with the right cards. We wanted to do starter decks, but we also wanted to just try our own thing. You're probably not gonna build a deck with multiple colors next time, are you? It does a will, it does a way. I can't believe you beat me. Why? You act like we haven't gone our whole lives with uh, you always being little brother. Comment section. Root for this man, maybe one day, you know? Don't worry, guys. I got him next time. Shout out to the Damon crew. The Damon crew. <laughs> Love you guys. Comment section, if we uh, broke any rules or if we missed anything, again, this is our first time, so let us know. Educate us. I welcome Backseat Gaming because uh, we're new to this game. And, um, but other than that, it was fun. If you guys want to learn how to play, stay tuned. I'll drop the uh, how to play game uh, or how to play Dragon Ball Super card game pretty soon and get you prepared for the new Dragon Ball Super game that's coming out next year uh, featuring this game. So learn how to play now so you're prepared and you can be a beast when it actually drops. Nevertheless, it's gonna do it for us. Farewell. <laughs>